So debugger is nothing but step by step execution of the flow. If I want to know the step by step execution of the flow, then I can debug it session. Say for an example, you are a developer, you are developing the code, and then you are uh, you are completing the uh, mapping, and then you want to test it. So you are uh, running your session, and then it is reading the data and then loading the data into target table. But the session got succeeded, but you are not getting expected result. Then what will you do? So normally, if the session got failed, if the session is failed, you assume that session is failed. If the session is failed, you can check the session log. So normally, you will be checking the session log, why it got failed, and you will be troubleshooting it. Okay. So why it got failed, then you will be troubleshooting it. If the session got succeeded, the session is succeeded, and you are, you are not getting expected output. Okay. So not getting expected output. Say for an example, your expected output should be, so you're expecting for a particular column, expected output for a particular uh, scenario, like uh, some value you're expecting, 1000, you assume that one value. Okay, but actual output you are getting as null. Say actual, sorry, output, you are getting like a null value for this particular uh, column. It's not a error, it's a logical error. So somewhere you are missing your logic. Then you have to find out right where you are missing the logic and everything so that you have to go for a debugging so you have to debug it so debugger is nothing but step by step execution of the flow okay step by step execution of the flow of the transformation flow step by step execution of transformation flow so pipeline flow you can say in it. so if you look at here so i can debug any session say for an example i want to debug this is cd yeah, yeah, CD type 2, I want to debug it. Yes, I can go for debugging. Say for an example, if you are not getting correct output, you can go here, go to mapping, debugger. You can use start debugger. So start debugger, you can go for next. So you, you'll be choosing which session I want to go for. Like you use an existing session instance, use an existing reusable session, create a debug session. So I want to go for use an existing session instance. So that means it is a non-reusable session. This is reusable session. So you know already what is non-reusable reusable session, right? You can go to next and then it will take that particular session. So this is a session, right? You can go for next. Discard target data. While running the debugger, it will not physically write the data into target table. Okay. While we are running the debugger, it will show you what data is populated in that debugger, but it will not basically go and write into the target table. This database table, it will not write. Okay, this is what the debugger. Okay, I can click on finish. It will open two window. So one is current instance. This is what your current instance. Current instance means, so this is one instance. This is another instance. This is another instance. Instance by instance. Instance means transformation. Once your debugger is start running, all these are disabled, transformations, everything is disabled state. Okay, so now I'll go with the mapping, go to debugger. So you can go for next instance. That means next instance means next transformation, it will move. So first time using the next instance, you can see here F10, right? So next time you can press F10. So you look at here, where is the session now? So session is there in source qualifier. So here this is the session source qualifier. Okay. If you look at here row number, row ID one, that means first record. So first record from source it is taking. So you can see your customer ID, first name, mobile number, all this you are seeing here. And then you can, the instance is in source qualifier. So keep the cursor here. You can press F10 here. Then it will take second, uh, first record to a lookup. So lookup also you are getting lookup key and then uh, this is the customer ID one from lookup, right? So we are getting the matching. Then if it is matching then expression, we are getting that new record flag is zero, update record flag also zero. So yeah, effective date, today's date, end date is 31st. So go for next one. So it is getting filtered out. Okay, it is getting filtered out. The row type, if you check filtered out, then this record is not going for the target, okay? If you are seeing anything like uh, filtered out, 
it the record is not going for the target okay how many targets are there two target right you can check two targets or three target whatever the target here see for all the target it will go like a filtered one only so you can check here okay next instance the same way you can go for next next instance so how the data is flowing you can check one by one see here one by one all the record is getting filtered out it is not moving on to the target so this is what you have to debug it so once everything completed automatically it will come out of the debugging debugger start a shutdown complete okay so this is what it will go for okay now i will go to the another uh, mapping here it will uh, i will show you what is the debugger and how it will be so you remember we have seen transaction control transformation right transaction control to generate the dynamic target right target dynamic target we have used uh, transaction control uh, say for an example this scenario i'm going to take how many transformation here you are using source qualifier is one sorter is two expression is three transaction control is four so go here the same way debugger so i'll go for the start debugger go to next you can go for use an existing session instance click on next it will go and bring the table uh, sessions so which session you want to use i want to use this transaction control this first session so i will take the first session click on okay discard target data you can click on finish then the same way two window will be opened one is target instance other one is current instance so you can keep just uh, why i have taken this scenario i will tell you since we are using sorter here right so you can see here debugger you can go for next instance you can go for next instance if you are taking next instance row id 1 where is the instance source qualifier you can see source qualifier first record it has taken so you you can validate one by one record here so you are clicking on next instance f10 so f10 is means next instance it is not moving on to the sorter it is still available on the it is still on the source qualifier you can see here second record has taken from the source qualifier press f10 third record fourth record fifth record like this it is going why it is not moving moving forward why because next transformation is sorter since next transformation is sorter it will not move so why because here we have a sorter will take all the record and then by using all the record it will do the sorting so that's why it is, it is not moving forward okay so here we have so this is what it will move and then you can you can go for f10 okay so if you have you can ask me so how many records are there 107 record is there so 107 times i'm pressing that f10 it is moving you can ask me one doubt okay if i have millions of record will you press million times no so that we will use uh, some something called concept called breakpoints i will tell you what is that so this breakpoint concept is applicable in other like a java python also we have same way here 106 right look at here 106 next to one time i'm pressing f10 107 now the instance is available in source qualifier if i'm going to press one more time f10 it will move on to the next transformation that is what our sorter if you look at your sorter so on what basis it is coming like 109 it is sorting based on the department id not department id country id right country id only we are using the keyboard so based on alphabetic order it is making the country so c then i'm going for the f10 f10 means next instance so how it is moving to the expression okay then here transaction control it's coming here you can see here it is generating t underscore country underscore canada dot csv change flag equal to one that means true and then commit before this expression is making like commit before right so you can make one by one f10 again f10 so this is insert look at here row type is insert means this record will go to the target table okay this record will go to the target so next record it is taking where from the sorter next also canada then you can make it like f10 so it is moving right so here it is moving so since previous record this record is same change flag is zero only previously change flag is one 
now the o change flag also zero only it will go with continue transaction previously it was commit before right but now it is a continue transaction so this is what it will proceed okay if i have millions of record should i go for like this one by one no i want to check only for india i want to check only for india how can i do it so go with debugger so in two ways you can do one is you can go for the i will go for stop uh, debugger will stop it two things one is in the source qualifier you can apply some filter in the source qualifier you can apply some filter you can make uh, where country equal to india that that means it will pass only india only you can easily track it otherwise you can go for breakpoints if the source is flat file you can go for breakpoints see here go to mapping debugger edit breakpoints it will ask where you want to place the breakpoints i want to place the breakpoint in expression wherever you want you can keep it no issues i want to keep breakpoint in expression just i am making expression transformation go and add the breakpoint so look at here add breakpoint click on condition so what is the condition so i want to make country equal to india right so i can make india country equal to india okay here so i have added one breakpoint you can see here so one stop button will be appear here whenever i am going to start the debugger stop start debugger to next you go to next can use this finish it up so this time you will find one stop button look at here stop button breakpoints it is called breakpoints so what you have to do since you have applied the breakpoint right no need to go for uh, uh, one by one go for directly continue so what is continue it will continue all the record it will break only that india in the expression transformation look at here india expression transformation is it making so record is india right country equal to india so other countries it will pass so china and england it has been passed canada china england has been passed but now india it's coming it has stopped now right so now you can go for f10 so one by one you can move so you can check only for india how the india is moving this is called breakpoints so if if somebody ask when will you use debugger so if i am not getting expected output in the target if the session got succeeded then i will use the debugger in debugger we have two window one is current instance other one is target instance okay target instance and uh, we have the breakpoints breakpoint is nothing but if i have millions of record i want to test it for particular record i can use breakpoints i can test that particular record alone okay so this is what you can uh, inform them if the session got failed what will you do yes check the session log okay how will you identify where is the error if the while reading itself it is failing then you have to check so why it is it has failed right that's what you have to backtrack these are all the troubleshooting method Deeper. continue means other record will continue it will stop in the whatever breakpoints you have applied okay from there you can go for next instance after see for an example 1 million record is there you want to particularly this particular record alone you have to check it continue all the record you break it only particular record so that's what breakpoint will be used